Welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review, folks. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson, and this is my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Hi, guys. And tonight we'll be reviewing another anime called Play of Gods that was released in 2014. 14. I think it's a 12-episode yeah. uh, anima- anime. Uh, yeah. Now... Um, how do you say like Play of Gods, 2014, blah, blah. It's a reverse harem romance supernatural uh, hmm. production. Now, it also comes under the name of Kamagami no Osobi, uh, because that's important for later on when you go looking for a copy of it. Mm-hmm. Because when you look at Play of Gods, you mm-hmm. might get one or two listings. You get more listings on eBay and uh, Amazon using the Japanese title. Yeah. So I'll make that more later on. Yeah, it's also uh, a special video game. Which, yeah, it's um, a video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I don't know how these reverse video, um, reverse harem games work because I still don't understand them really. Me to be neither. Honest. And how yeah. you win My or lose. My brain hurts already. But, but, I don't know. It's it's not really important. I don't know. It's uh, they'll make anything a game. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. It seems like that's it's the most popular thing at the moment, or not really at the moment. Just one of the things that are really popular. I don't know how it works. I just don't know how how you be able to play the game and know how to win. To be honest. Yep. Anyway, doesn't matter at this point. So this is an anime about um, some. Superna- um, supernatural stuff, a bit of um, Greek mythology, and a lot of other guy, other Norway gods and um, Norse see, gods, North gods, Gr- Japanese, Greek, and Norse gods. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot of um, real gods or the, fic- the fictional the ones from gods, from yeah. ancient and mythology that you may have heard so much about. There might be a few that you may catch us talking about because you guys have heard of them in Marvel, some of them. Like uh, Thor and stuff and Loki. Thor and, and yeah. Loki. Um, there's no um, ref- no connection to Marvel in this no, case. No, no, this so is purely uh, borrowed from mythology. Yes, yeah, so, right. so don't use this as an opportunity to take, take it as a um, literal perspective. No, no, no and it's, start it's nothing like it. Eggshells. I don't think they will care. Now, this is the part I hate. I have to try struggle with Japanese names. That's true. And before I start, I'm going to apologise for all of whom I am going to offend, okay? Now, because I don't speak Japanese. Okay, now, okay, here we go. <laughs> Produced by Fuminori Yamazaki, Sachi Kawamoto, uh, uh, Sayaka Kono, Asun... Uh, uh, at Sonori Yoshida, uh, Tomoko Sakano, Sakano, Sakano. Uh, yeah. Uh, directed by Tomoyuki uh, Kawamura, and also written by him or her. Okay, right. Twelve episodes, as we said. Now the actors. Oh Lord. This will be ah. a lot worse. So. Aha. Well, the, the wait, okay, I won't say the actors, but the voice actors, because obviously, because this yeah. is uh, uh, an anime, guys, yeah, and anime. it's mostly um, animation stuff. Okay, it was all on. animation. Now, okay, the main person, the female lead, is Yui. I won't say the full name. Mm. Uh, voiced by. Oh, wait, before I say anything, all the actors, I think, or most of the actors, who, voice actors, actually do the singing for the opening closing credits. Oh, cool. Yeah, the themes. Yeah, yeah, the themes. Right. I got here. The opening theme for anime was Till the End, while the ending theme was Reason yeah. 4. Both opening and ending themes were sung yeah. by a list of the people who yeah. are actually the voice actors. I do wish mm. I could find out what they're singing about. I can't find any yeah, subtitles Yeah, well, they didn't need subtitles for singing, which is a bit of a pain. But anyway, here, here we go. On, yeah, Yui is playing a voice by Sayori Hayami. Hayami, yeah. Okay, yeah. she's, she's a little girl who gets yeah. dragged back, or not dragged, more sideways, or whatever, yeah. to another realm where these young yeah. gods are, and she has to help them learn about humanity. Yeah, yeah. she's like the human who has to help them. It learn about humanity. Learn okay, uh, Apollon, I guess that's Apollo, is a voice by Miyu Irino. Mm. Okay, he's a sun god. Um, mm. Hades is voiced by Dasuki Ono. Yeah. Okay. He's, uh, he's uh, a god of the underworld. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. Um, Sukito yeah, is play voiced by Yuto Yumura. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a he's a 
got a moon god, got Japanese god of the moon. Yeah. Uh, He's a bit of a... a quiet guy. Quiet guy, but always it's studious. always a quiet one. So yeah. uh, now, uh, Takuro mm. uh, is uh, voiced by Tish, Toshiyuki Toyonaga. I think it's... Yeah, right. That sounds weird. Japanese god of the sea. <laughs> yeah, right. he's not a bad one. He's very tough and very, yeah. very yeah. interesting. Uh, Bolda is voiced by Hiroshi Kamiya, and he's a Norse god of light. Yeah. And uh, I hope I'm running out of these. Uh, Loki, I like Loki. Uh, he's always good, even in the Marvel comics, whatever. Mm. Uh, Yoshimasa Yoshi hmm. Hosoya. Yeah, just I like think, in yeah. the stories, yeah. he's a mischief god. He's a mischief, yeah. And I think there's one more, but... A bit of a bit part in here somewhere. Oh, no, no another couple here. Mm. Thor uh, is, mm. is uh, voiced by mm. Noriaki Sugiyama. Unlike the Marvel comics and, and uh, movies, Marvel. this Thor doesn't come off at the page sometimes can when I just, it comes to can I just Well, I'm just saying to the audience that he's barely... Um, He's not in his he's barely full noticed. clothes. He's in ordinary clothes. Okay? No, I'm just saying he's not... Um, he's barely... Very, he's very. No one really notices him in the um product in the film. Most he's I mean, playing the a quiet role. Okay. He's, he's just, he's all, he's just a quiet character. He doesn't talk very much. He's just he just watches. Can I go through go the rest on. of the people while I'm still in the mood? Uh, Dion, Dion uh, Dionysus, as uh, voiced by Hirofumi Nojima. Hmm. Okay. He's sort of a party god. Yeah, yeah but he, he likes drinking and stuff every one of the time. I like yeah, him. Greek god. Uh, and Zeus stuff. is voiced by Hachu Atsuka. He's a god of thunder and stuff, and he's a head god. Yeah. Uh, now, there's a bit part here. I don't know why I didn't give him more of a part. He's such a good actor. Mm-hmm. Anubis. <laughs> he's got not very big part in the uh, Yuki Mike. Kashi. Uh, and he's he's okay. he's a Egyptian god of the dead. He just he just pops around here and there doing yeah. everything. He actually, could have either given him more more to do or nothing to do and leave him out altogether. Yeah. Thor had much more of an active approach because he was the god of knowledge, and he saw the teacher, one of the head teachers, in charge of actually, teaching them. I've got a few more. Melissa is a mm-hmm. a familiar who looks after uh, our leading lady, uh, yeah. voiced by. Tomokazu Seki. Yeah, he's really kind of uh, adorable. <laughs> yeah, His character. Like a little, little sound teddy bear type thing. Uh, now, Akira, the god of the Japanese god of the sun, is voiced by Yuya Yutida, I think. Is that right? I think that's the right pronunciation. Now, I'm not going to mention any other Japanese names, which is great. Well, <laughs> it's not very... It's up to you now. Yeah, well, anyway, yeah, yeah. the story begins... Yuki, I mean Yui, um, Yui yeah. is a student at a, a school somewhere, don't know where in Japan, and she's studying Kaito or um, oh, sword so, play, so, sword fighting, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and she has no time for so, social life. No, she's been brought up in an old-fashioned way because her father is a he runs a shrine. He, 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 he's in charge of a shrine, so, so she's yeah. had a. Um, uh, a conservative upbringing, has it? Yeah. Good? Anyway, mm. she heads home and her she makes plans to get help her parents with the shrine. But then, as she's getting herself organised, she hears something in um, a shed or a ca- in one of the cabins. And then when she the goes, sto- I think it's a storage shed. Yeah. yeah. And when she goes there, she sees this box containing a very large sword. She Looks touches nice. the sword, and it transforms her, transports her to an unknown place in an unknown area. And she's unconscious. Yes. Well, and well, the, small, yeah. the sword sort of shrinks down to a teeny weeny sword attached itself around it to her neck. A necklace type thing, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of... Anyway, I'll go into more details. She goes throughout the place. It's a very big sort of university college But no place. one is there. But it's very quiet. But we do... She does encounter several... Guys who are just as baffled and downfounded about and being there, and they're good looking. And they're good looking. Yeah, to boot. <laughs> she meets Hades, and let me see. She meets the two Japanese gods I mentioned. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and she uh, meets um, Boulder and Loki. I Loki, think. yeah. I think that's yeah, all. Boulder and Loki, yeah. Yeah, and most of them don't really 
knowledge her because I think they're just as much in the dark and about being there as, a, yeah, as she is. They think she's maybe a cop and that's the reason why they're there or something. Yeah. They've they got no idea. Baldur comes off as really charming and nice. And Loki comes off as cheeky, cheeky and doesn't want to associate with her. Anyway, she gets summoned by Zeus. Yeah. He tells her that flat out that you are summoned because we are the gods. The god, these particular gods you will be looking after are they need to be retrained and get reconnected understand to humanity, hu- humanity mm. so they can understand humanity and love. Yeah, exactly right. Instead of being just self-serving, yeah. arrogant, whatever and they are. And because yeah, the yeah. connection between humanity and the gods have been kind of... Set it's taken a beating over the years. Because, mm. bear in mind, these gods, Hades, all the uh, the Greek ones, the um, Japanese ones, and... And the other ones, they are old ones. Like, they go back many years ago, and we don't worship any, them anymore. Sad. And, yeah. and they cost these gods, they don't get along with each other because they, well, it's just like humans. They don't well, get, we yeah. don't, that's one of the things that we kind People of. don't see each other either. either. You've got yeah. one, some in ja- ja- Japanese ones, you've got the Greek ones. You've got yeah. an, an, that's an one of ones. the yeah. things yeah. that kind of broke Different us apart areas, in yeah. reality. We kind of broke over religion mostly, but I won't oh, go into religion about don't that. Go there. So, yes. anyway, this is what their reaction is too. So they kind of don't like to get along with one another. She then meets Apollo, who is the son of Zeus, who's um, sort yeah. of the god of the sun. The sun god, yeah, yeah. And he actually gets Pegasus, his horse. His horse, eh? To, Very nice. To mm. show her where this whole place is. It's on an island in the in middle the of the sky. Well, you can't get out of there in a hurry, can you? Nope, mm. nope. Anyway, so they're essentially summoned to the main hall. Yeah, main hall. And... Zeus tells all the gods, the ones, even the ones who were absent earlier, like Thor and what's his name, uh, uh, the the other Greek one who's a party god. I keep forgetting his name. That one. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> he tells them that they're here to learn about the humanity and love. And of course, some of the gods rebel at one point, but then. Then Zeus take gets put some shackles on the uh, the gods before before they got to rebel, and this kind of forces their powers to not come out, making them human, if you will. So they cannot humanish has that. Yeah. yeah. So they cannot use their powers until they fulfill their obligations of learning to be hum- uh, learning to about humanity. He also objects a big orb or f- f- um, sphere from the ceiling that says each time it gets filled, it means that they achieved a little bit of their humanity. And it plays a very big part the to the series. The idea is going to try to fill the thing series. up. Yeah, this big, this big sphere. Yeah, the special sword around Yui's U- neck is actually plays a big part to this giant ball of sphere. And it's called the Sword of Heaven, I think it was. Oh, whatever. Yeah, and it plays a big part. Uh, and Thor says no chance of removing it because I like those shackles the, that Zeus put on the gods. She cannot remove the um, necklace anytime yeah, soon. Exactly. So she's in the same boat as these gods. She cannot go home, and neither can they. There's no plain lo- no place like home, Toto. Hey. But uh, and she, no. of course she's um they're they're given accommodations. <laughs> no, they're given accommodations, dummy. <laughs> Moron, <laughs> he's being a pain now again. Anyway, yeah. so she also makes the acquaintance of Melissa, the um sort of clay, not really clay type figure yes. that Zeus created for her, so she can a bit have like a, a rag doll. Bit of a bit of a companion piece for her, so she won't feel alone because she. At first, she asked Thor, "What what will happen? To, what if, what's going to happen to her parents? Will they be worried?" But he, of course, he explains, "Once you've done your job, you'll be back to the same time, and they won't know you've gone away." Yeah, exactly right. So Andy, Andy, really? So she, she's, but she's still obligated to stay there, and no matter how long it usually takes, it's set. Zeus says it takes a year. They're going to be studying for a year. Yeah, in which time, hopefully, they'll all graduate. Mm-hmm. Uh, and everyone goes back to their no. domiciles. How's that? Good yeah. domiciles? Mm. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so at first it doesn't go so well because some of the gods refuse to be taught. Thor, mm. um, Loki, 
and Damsels. and one of the Greek and Japanese <laughs> gods refuse to yeah. to sit down and learn. Yeah, they don't be part of this crap. Yeah. Of course, um, you comes up with a cool plan. Um, during summer break, um, just so you guys know, Zeus is kind of forwarding the weather and the days ahead to make them go faster. Yeah, he, well, do all season. He's changing the he's seasons. He's changing the seasons too, yeah. really fast. Instead of waiting a couple of months or wait a couple of weeks for results, he's kind of pushing ahead. Or fast forward forward almost. <laughs> yeah, so Yuri comes up with a plan to make their school life a little bit more fun with a bit of a, a sea school activity. I yeah. guess that's the Japanese term for um, going on a sort of a summer retreat. I don't know. Probably. I don't, I don't think they learn much while they're... Yeah. yeah, of course, at first things don't go so well because when they get to the beach... So it's changed the weather. changed the weather, making it raining. autumn. Yeah, you're raining. No, cold. Yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah. And, but luckily enough, Apollo and Yuri, they were able to figure out how to make it a little fun. They go back to the, um, to the academy, the um, school that they occupy, and were able to bring back some fireworks so the other gods could enjoy... What little summer time they had. They had fireworks. They'd never seen fireworks. Yeah. See, they're so limited. All that power with no fun. Mm. Yeah, they enjoyed themselves and eventually um, they also had club activities. Some of them refused to take part because, like Hades, he refuses to be a joiner. He doesn't like taking part in people in other activities because he causes misfortune to those. So he thinks anyway. So he thinks because he's been... Curse because he's been for years he's been forced to look after the never well, world yeah and, and he's been cursed by a lot yeah, of, a lot of hate, hateful spirits because and stuff, most yeah. of those spirits hate being forced to die and go and be well just be be there obviously so anyway she was able to open him up to to taking part in his um, astronomy thing. He's interested in astronomy, and she eventually um, gets him to open up. And for a time, he eventually opens up to her, and because of his love for rice cakes, he likes rice cakes and strawberries. Yeah, mm. and he opens up to her about his the curse of Hades, and he eventually does eventually open up to her with thanks to his nephews. He, see. Apollo and the other Greek god are like his nephews. Yeah, that's right. And it's un- that's Uncle Hades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all Greek mythology. It's all, they're all related. A bit of been reading here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's all written in the books. <laughs> you have to read them. Anyway, well, I don't want to read that. Anyway, eventually he opens up and he, um, the other Greek, Japanese god, I think it's the, um, not the smart one, the first one, but the um, other one who's a <laughs> bit of a, a uh, bit of a more of a an active kind of guy. He kind of he bonds with Yuri with his swordsmanship. That guy. Yes. Yeah. They get along, and for a time, he, when they during a rainstorm, he saves her, and but the, breaks the shackle on his. I think his his ankle. See, the ankle, the shackles are actually jewelry. You know, like necklaces, um, bracelets, a ring for Apollo, and. I think um, one of the Greeks had one of it from his earrings. Yes, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so he breaks the shackle and Zeus wants to expel him. And, of course, the other gods say, oh, great, if I'm expelled, does that mean I can go home? No, but no, as it turns out, Zeus has a uh, sort of punishment in place for this. He's the punishment for them to be expelled and not graduating is that we turn into statues and remain there forever. Forever and ever. That's an awful long time. Not so good for them. And they realize, oh gosh, we definitely have to think about um, really putting our studies to work on this one. Yeah. Eventually, you was able to avoid him, that god getting expelled and plead with Zeus to let him off. And eventually, he um, obliges because it wasn't, it was just a, he was doing it as a humane thing to do considering he was saving Yui's life, after all. Mm-hmm. It was not a selfish thing to do. Anyway, back to... Can, so the story continues. Tatsuki, they, I think that's Tatsuki. Tatsuki, yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She also bonds with his brother, the other god, who's a bit of a... He likes to write minutes. Like, he writes everything down in his little book. Mm-hmm. He becomes a sort of a... Um, 
um, he sort of is very proficient in his work. He likes to work hard and all that stuff. And he, at one point, um, he gets tricked, both him and, her, and Yui, they get tricked by Yoki by wearing a special um, couple ring in order to become a couple. And eventually their hands are locked together in the worst way. Yeah. Wonder how they got a toilet. That's a good question. I don't want to answer that one. I was whatever, a little yeah. curious about that. Anyway, they, they eventually yeah, yeah. bond during a moon festival thingy wing that they were organizing, and in the nicest possible way, very plutonic. Mm-hmm. Apollo, Bold, and the other and the other um, Japanese god were worried they would somehow develop feelings for one another. But he's not the feely, touchy feely type. Nah. Although throughout this series, the, each god does get a bit of a taste of. Yui as an, in a nice that way. That sounds a bit rude. Like each one they develops. Cows, they? Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, I put the wrong term. Taste. But they develop an, nibble, uh, nibble, a nibble. slight interest in her, like in a slight, you know, in one one way or another. Yeah. Anyway, but Apollo and Bold, I think they have the most strongest of loves for her. Obviously, I like to think because <laughs> they were, they have more interaction with her. Obviously, I'll take your word for it. Anyway, yeah. So anyway, eventually, after a while. During the Moon Festival, they eventually did did have a um, develop connecting on a on a good plane, and eventually they both understand each other. And it broke the couple ring on their fingers, and it was more to do with um, them to, to understand one another, uh, not yeah, to become yeah, a couple. Yeah, and, yeah, he was understanding humanity and emotions a bit better, and yeah. and she was understanding his position and stuff, yeah. and and that. Yeah, that uh, the, the bonding rings serve the purpose, has it? Yeah, exactly yeah. Mm. so. Mm. Moving on, um, other stuff happens in between. Um, there was even a bit where Bold pro- um, yeah. eventually wants to befriend and have a relationship with Yuri. Because unlike other people, there are a lot of other extras running around in the, uh, oh, the yeah, school. Oh, yeah, Zeus made a lot of, uh, and a lot of other young people... Yeah. To pad out the numbers in the classes. Yeah, you know, to make it look yeah, more introverted. Like a real school. Yeah. yeah. Of course, they're mostly extras. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bit broad. No one got, no one got any credits. Yeah, <laughs> and Bold, um, he's the mo- most popular god in the but group. He, but he, he, that's, his, he, that's one of his special powers. People yeah. attracted to him. He's yeah. a god of light. Yeah, see, yeah. his mm. mum, according to the story, um, his mum made, ba- made a deal to make sure mm. her son doesn't get hurt. And so the rest of the world won't have enough loving, so except for mistletoe, which hadn't been invented when it was born. Yes, yeah, so mm, um, so but you, you, Loki, he gets jealous of Bold and Yui's friendship, and he doesn't like it because he, him and Thor and Bold, they had a sort of a a strong friendship since they were children yeah, and didn't want to have anything come between them. Friend, besties forever sort of thing and look after each other. Yeah. Of course. Mm. Um, he tries everything he can to force the couple apart. Uh, to an extent, he eventually we hear the full story of why this is happening and we learn from both York, Loki and Thor that the reason why um, they're trying to force them apart is because mm. to for... Your, your, for Yuri's safety and for and Bold, Bold's safety, because um, Bold's emotions they go out of control. Um, Bold is a little bit like Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde sort of scenario. Yes, he's got his good side, which he's totally aware of. And he's got a bad side when he becomes emotionally unstable, yeah. and he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, and, and that's, that's one of the reasons problem. why yeah. he was brought to this island, uh, the academy, mm. because. Zeus sees his um, emotions will be the, would kind of cause a rift in reality and cause destruction of the world as we know it and the world in other everything. gods. He could destroy everything. could destroy everything. everything. Yeah. Meaning not just uh, the academy and the island. The whole spirit the world whole, and the material world the and whole everything. World. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. he's there. That's the whole point, purpose. He's got a lot to learn, hasn't he? Yeah. Anyway, he can't remember or recall his... His Jekyll, I mean, it's turning into Hyde bit. Yeah, he knows not the Jekyll bit, but doesn't know Mr. Hyde bit. He has yeah. got no memory of it. Yeah. So, anyway, moving on. We I, then think got, I think you've got an idea, though. He has yeah, a bit of a we suspicion. We later on. Yeah. Anyway, we later on, as they're passing their midterms exam, they 
uh, Apollo develops, um, we do hear a backstory into his relationship with a past girl that was having difficulty moving on to, into um, the afterlife. But eventually, thanks to Yui, she was able to convey the fact that no hard feelings between them and she, the ghost can move on to the afterlife. The Yay. end. And moving on, so the, fu- so the next couple of episodes is the first one. The next one is they do a Cinderella play after their midterm's oh, yeah, done. Thing. So bad. I'm so good. He's so uh, funny, this yeah. one. Um, Mike here was talking about it when we were doing Fruit Basket or Fruit Fruits Fruit basket, basket yeah, yeah. where we were talking about how we watched two different versions of Cinderella being an anime, and it's, this one's a little hilarious. It's really weird. It's like, in this one, um, they decide to do Cinderella, and Apollo wants to be the prince, and the others want to become the prince because and Loki want to become the prince, especially because, he, the because he's a star yeah. in or whatever. In his, mean, mind. In yeah. his mind. I don't know what that means. Maybe it has a, a god thingy wing. I don't know, but he's. Obsessed with the idea of it. Anyway, the other gods want to be... Um, they all want to be the lead role. And, of course, they want Yui to be Cinderella, duh. Mm-hmm. Because being the only girl in the group. So, the funny part is all these guys somehow dressed up as girls, obviously. <laughs> uh, and, they uh, had to draw straws, if that's the word. One guy got various roles. And he was, you know, one was that was tree, Thor, I mentioned. And, and then he was dressed as a mouse and a yeah. horse. As I said before, <laughs> Thor and yeah, really uh, the other god, the, the party god, they don't have an interest in Yui and they don't care what roles they got. <laughs> so, in the, for him, he, he got multiple roles and the other one had... He, was he played father? He played the father the dying of father, Cinderella. father, but he had a quick bit at the beginning. beginning. <laughs> I'm dead now. See you later, buddy. He walked off. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. and the, yeah. And then when we get to... in character. Yeah. And then we get to the um, part with Thor. He's the narrator in the yeah, play. Yeah, he's off the side there. With yeah. The yeah. And he, Anubis, yeah. The, other, the god that we don't barely see in this production... Um, he continues to make a few appearances here and there, but he doesn't make it. He doesn't but anyway, he, he knocks some liquid drink or something on top of the notes yeah. he's supposed, Thoth was, was supposed to be reading from. <laughs> so he had to make it up as he went along. He, he didn't know the storyline. Yeah. So, yeah, he had yeah. lived a couple of he lines. More the rest of the show. But <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. Yeah, it was really weird. Yeah, kind and of, then all, everything, and the poo yeah. at the fan. Yeah. Loki got into trouble up there yeah. and he started fighting everybody. Yeah, and, and Loki wanted to... Yeah. Um, Put the slipper on um, Cinderella's so foot, and, and, and he was a servant. Yeah, yeah he and didn't he like the so idea. So out of control. It was just so funny. But yeah. unfortunately, Anubis comes in and ruins the plan and causes everyone to and their roles to be shambles. And eventually, yeah, but luckily yeah. enough, the, s- the slipper shatters, and Thoth was able to save the day by saying. The, thanks to the slipper being shredded, the whole world is back to normal and stuff. Yeah, the really end. end. <laughs> so and was, everyone cheered so, and clapped and, yeah, well, and everyone no, just grinned. Paid. Tell them hold, holding a big sign saying clap and applaud. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, as I said before, yeah. there are extras, like like acting extras, yeah. who um, don't care if they're they're paid there to sit and watch. Anyway, or sit, or move sit along. There. Anyway, we then get to the last two episodes. After uh, the play was done... Bold kind of falls and he collapses on the ground and he's confined to um, the infirmary. Yeah, it's infirmary. Yeah. And for a while, we realise that um, Loki has, um, realizes that his dark side, I think the god of destruction in Bold, yeah. is coming out. Exactly. Meaning that's the dangerous um, when, fly, when, fly, mo- when he gets fly, emotionally fly. unstable, it starts yeah. to come out. Yeah. The only way he has to, because being the god of he's can't he can't kill you can't kill him like a normal person considering he's immortal and all that stuff. Well, he um, protects the, his mother arranged it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the mistletoe Mike mentioned it's formed into a dagger, and yeah. Loki is feels like he's obligated to kill him before a more disaster occurs. Yeah, to protect him, um, yeah, from himself and to protect the universe and everything yeah. else. Blah 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 blah. Of course, when blah, 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 push yeah. goes to show, yeah. he couldn't <clears throat> do it, and but it's his best friend. but Bolt yeah, says, yeah. Fair, but there's another way for him to destroy himself because. Bald has always been falling, tripping, and doing whatever. See, Balder can hurt himself. Yes. But 
other things can't hurt him. So he yeah, then yeah, yeah. falls off the cliff and tries to drown yeah, himself. Yeah. But unfortunately, that doesn't do anything because um, that's soon enough the destruction of the... the this god of destruction starts emerging from him, and this is where the whole island is going to be put it's in danger. Yeah, destroyed, and of course, um, each god, um, after they do a bit of goodness uh, here and there, they suddenly their shackles break off, and they're able to reclaim their godlike powers and try to save Boulder and the world and the universe yeah. from yeah. this darkness. Yeah, yeah. each yeah. time mm. the shackles break, the bolt that all I mentioned that, that fills with yeah, liquid, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it gets soon, bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four and four. soon as each god yeah. ch- achieves one bit of humanity in their existence, Yui uses the sword, the, the sword of heaven, to it kind of the orbs. Energies, the um, love and, right, and humanity yeah. s- mer- takes it, comes out of it, and starts emerging into the, inside sword. the um, sword. And sh- it's up to Yui to use the sword and penetrate his, um, a bold's the, 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 heart, the, well, so he can feel he can dis- the humanity ca- and come and back from where he is. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So she heads to the place, and thanks to Apollo and the others, they open the door for her, and they get let her inside. At the time, Yoki's already inside. He's trying to reach his friend, but of course, um, with no avail, because his friend is using everything in his power to protect him from anything outside of his. Lord's. Well, it's the darkness is doing that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Yuki gives um, Yoki the sword and tells him, and Yoki knows what to do with it, and he pierces the heart of his friend, and this allows that all the pet feelings in humanity and all that stuff that they learned to finally reach Bolt's um, little shell, mm. and and then eventually he eventually he eventually awakens and he's back to normal, and, and the, all the shackle goes on away. his ear. Yeah. Um, disappears, making him... And all the evil stuff that's happening stops. And yeah. Yeah, really of course, yeah. at this time, the island is already getting destroyed. Not real and no, and Zeus, days. at the time, was trying to use every ounce of his power to stop it from collapsing, but they only have a few minutes left, and we don't know how much time they have left for to stay on that place. So they use their last bit of power to send Yui back to her world. And of course, they all say their goodbyes. And Apollo says, as he as he s- says his goodbye, he says, "I love you." And she yells out to him. And then she reappears before her friends, and she starts crying, breaking down, saying that she didn't want this. And so she tries to go back to the place, the cabin, where she found and the sword, so, it but it there. isn't there. Then she claps down, crying. And as the credits roll, we watch her slowly crying and thinking about her friends back in on the island. And all the time, we keep thinking, how long, how many days or weeks have passed? Yeah, I think it's only a day or two. Yeah, not too yeah. much. Yeah. And Maybe a week. She tops. keeps thinking about them, different moments. Yeah. Like like there was a moment when it's raining and she's probably thinking of Hades because every time he was looking at the stars, it rained. Yeah, came. that's tough. And yeah. When the sunlight is, is and, up and the beach parties and all, stuff have like that. Over there. all she and thinks yeah, about yeah. is her friends. Yeah. And when she comes home from school later on, she hears their voices. And she, as she approaches the shrine, she sees them there wearing ordinary clothes. And she's happy to see them. And Apollo is there saying, "Okay, we're ready to learn some more." I don't yeah. know if that means that they're going to stay on Earth with her, or they're going well, to go I back th- to the th- I island. I don't know. That's the whole point. Of it. Um, that's a big it's question. A gray area. See so that that fake pretend school thing that Zeus made obviously has served its purpose. Yeah. So maybe it's, it's t- uh, this is year maybe. two, yeah. they're going to spend time on Earth yeah. uh, mixing with rural human beings. Yeah, that yeah, could yeah. be it, mm. Mike. You mm. have a point. Who knows? They may be using this time to... Well, this is the first movie in the several... This, I think there's about four or five movies in this line. Mm. Uh, I, well, no, series, series. Don't you mean video game series? Uh, no, series. I'm, no, I don't know. I don't know. Because because the, there are video game series, yeah, yeah. but other than that... Um, well, it would have been the storyline first in the manga books, probably. And that's yeah. Been, yeah. But I think there's about four or five versions of it. Mm. Anyway, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, what happened. Yeah. So she, I guess, continues teaching them about being, you know, in humanity. Or yeah, so I might go on next level, next level, next level. This is the, yeah. Yeah, hmm. and I thought this was a good conclusion, unlike other versions who leave you up in a cliffhanger ending when you think mm. about it. Well, yeah, it's well, open, I, always open for a sequel. Well, hey. I've told you, Mike, in the past, a lot of 
um, reverse harems or animes, they don't continue for gosh knows reasons. No, they don't, because they're they, oh, no, we'll leave it there. Yeah. We'll leave it there, and hopefully the book will pick it up, or, like, the, or the audience will yeah, stop yeah, buying yeah. the books. But sometimes I've gone to bookshops online, and often enough, I can't find the books in English. Most of the time I see ones in Japanese, and I'm, I cannot... That's a problem, That's yeah. a bit of an issue for Can, me. I know. Go to TAFE and learn how to read Japanese. I don't think I can do that, Mike. Oh, okay, I don't right. think I can do it. <laughs> anyway, this makes me think of another um, mythology type um, type of t- you know TV series called The Class of the Titans. It's a little different. It's not the same thing. It's more about some humans uh, who are descendants from Greek superheroes, yeah, 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 yeah. and they're learning from you know from ancient. Um, um, gods to learn about becoming heroes in their time. So, used because of descendants yeah, from yeah, like yeah. Jason and Hercules, and stuff, stuff, those yeah. types of guys, those heroes. That's a little different, and it didn't last very long. It lasted for two seasons, and I don't know what happened to the season. Anyway, anyway, that's right. Anyway, now, it we're matter. talking this one now. Okay, right. Fade to black. Okay. Fade to black. Right, okay, the end. here we go. Um, can't say much about it. Come about locations, production, whatever. So I'll go straight into Gradient. Um, look, we've watched a lot of anime stuff. This is one of the better ones. I like it. I mean, it's pretty good. I don't like subtitles because i got bad eyes, but I found it, the subtitles were easy to read, which is great because some, for me, it was a bit on a too small side. I have Buckley's. Of trying to read the subtitles. This, this is quite easily to, easy to read and... Um, uh, I suppose a calibration of it as well. So it was, you know, you know how they sync this, the subtitles and everything. Mm. Sometimes they're out of sync to to the nth degree, but this wasn't too bad. So, as, as always, anime animation is very, very good if mm. you like that sort of thing. Uh, and the storyline is quite pleasant. It tells a nice thing. It's probably a very good adaptation of the manga book. Mm. Uh, so yeah, um, I I can't fault these things. I mean, they're not my style. But I can't fault the project, the production. So I'm going to, I'm going to give about a nine. Yeah, I'm that- going to give it um, a nine myself. Mm, mm. I mean, I watched, I did read the book, Mike. You mentioned, and is it, is it, it, is it similar? A little bit. A little, the ending is different. Yeah, well, obviously. Where in the end, she asks Thor to erase her memory. Ah. Uh, so she has no memory of, of. But that doesn't leave that gods. for sequel. Mm, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why uh, yeah, right. it's never had a sequel. Now, okay, right. Now, we'll go straight into the availability and stuff now because I can, uh, I, there's no critiques or anything we can go through. Now, here we are. There's a couple of things here. Make sure you get... If you do download a copy of it, if you can find a copy to download through a streaming site or whatever... Uh, or you buy one, uh, make sure you get, if you're English speaking, make sure you get one of English subtitles. Okay. Um, and I get, I think there's also a couple of different seasons. We had one, two, and three. I think I noticed that on Amazon or somewhere. But when you put in the Japanese land, that Kamigama, Kamigami no Asobi, that's where it showed up. When you, mm. when you put Play of Gods doesn't show up. So be careful. We're talking about the first one, which is 2014. Can I look at that for a minute, Mike? <sighs> Let's see. I don't look at your notes. Because most of the time, um, this is only one TV series, and it only has one. And the well, rest of the season... you go on Amazon and put in uh, Kam- um, Kamigami, whatever it is. Yeah, but if there are uh, t- season two and season three, yeah, but- why is it not on Wikipedia? It's not for mention. Well, I'm sorry. I it's mean, like, it's like that movie. Well, we, you, you sent me a uh, Facebook post on before. Uh, was it called um, No Way Up or something rather? Yeah. We can't even find it. It's supposed to be coming out very, very soon. I can't even find the director's name on the internet, and I can't find anything on the main actor's filmography saying there's actually a movie. So I'm just wondering. So. Is Wiki, is Wikipedia and IMBD and all the other things up to speed sometimes? I don't know. Anyway, irrespective. So, yeah, look, when you go searching lists, okay, like I said, be checked. There are several seasons, uh, and, and check before you buy. Now, it has two names. It has the English-speaking name, which is Play of the Gods. 
Yeah. It's also called Kamigami no Asobi. Okay. Now, if you go into the internet and you put in game, uh, Play of Gods, all right, and you'll see this Kamigami no Asobi. Uh, when you go searching for it on Amazon and eBay and other places, you'll probably get a better result using the Japanese name. Okay. Mm. Now, having said that, there are some for sale, but using uh, using one name, but Kamigami, Camp, whatever. There's quite a few listings. Uh, Amazon, I can't see any rentals, so you'd have to buy it. Mm, now, I think it's limited too. Mm -hmm. I don't. I didn't see heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps. So there might be some other sites. You might be able to stream it somewhere if you have trouble getting it. I'll I'll recommend a link at the bottom of the page. I was going to say, uh, is, is it on YouTube? Anywhere? No, not on YouTube, but another. I ha I know another link another to place. go find okay, yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, Sarah will supply a link so you can see it. No yeah. promises. I can get you the season two or season three. No, no, it's the season one we're doing. Yeah, so yeah, but um, it's around, but it might be hard to get. But like so other streaming services and platforms might have it available. So mm. if you like anime, it's not about a watch. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's twelve episodes. They're short episodes. We we watched them all in about three hours, was it, or three four hours, three and a half hours? Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah something, whatever. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. Mm. I I like the anime. I like the I like. The, I mean, I mean, there's different sort of animation, sort of the guys over the years done, and it's not the same as what Disney would do, mm. but it's a unique style, and I don't find it hard to watch. It's quite good. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. anime. I mean, manga. Mm. Yeah, anime. anime, anime uh, yeah. They do a different style. Different style, different but style. it's quite watchable. Yeah. yeah. They have a different way of thinking. Yeah, different way of doing it. Yeah, their their uh, art style. Yeah. And it's quite good. I, I, I enjoy watching the art and the detail in it. Mm. But they should it, learn at least a little bit about what they mm. get up to. Maybe they can get they can expand their no, story into that, 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 that's it. No, not what story, but the style of actually cartooning I and the animation. They do it in it's it's somewhat so, it's, it's it's a it's a bit between still frame and and fully animated, so it's sort of like it's it's sort of in the middle there somewhere, and it's quite good. But the art, the the attention to detail is impeccable, so yeah, I find it quite enjoyable to watch in many cases. Mm. Anyway, irrespective, can't say anything more, otherwise people are going to get bored and turn us off anyway. Yes. Yeah. Um, that about it. I think that's yeah, well, about I, it. I gave it whatever, and you gave it whatever, and yeah. yeah, I do think that I did like the. Uh, a lot of people often ask me what reverse harem means. It usually means um, you heard of the harems like from Arabian Nights. Yeah, but sold like half a dozen wives or yeah. girlfriends well, or fiancés. Well, reverse or harem deals with um, a yeah. woman being surrounded by guys. Like think of Romantic Killer, where the um, Riri was trying to force Anzu in a romantic harem situation. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That's not the same thing, Mike. They liked them. Yeah, they liked it, but they're not. It's not a romantic relationship. It's more of a friendship. Dopey liked her. Yeah. <laughs> so um, grumpy. I like to theorize, but most people have who ever heard me talk about it think I'm all oh, my loop. Um, being loopy about it. <laughs> but I think that I do think that in the Disney version, it does express that he did like her. Anyway. But the problem is, um, it was never um, brought up. Anyway. Anyway, the point is, um. Reverse harems, they usually mean uh, a female being, com you know, being in the company of so many guys. And like, you know, like um, uh, in Romantic Killer, she tries to force that type of thing away from her because saying, get away from me, I yes. don't want any of that hey, stuff. Well, Tank Girl had that. Tank Girl and Jet Girl went with those kangaroo guys. All those kangaroo guys liked them. That's not the same thing. It wasn't reverse harem. No, no, only okay. two guys liked okay. them and that's it. Okay. It was not exactly... And Tank will end up with one of them. Yes, but that's the not dog. a reverse harem either, Mike. I don't know where <laughs> you're, my... what you're thinking, Mike, but it's not the reverse harem <laughs> we're thinking of. Oh, what? Hey, can we revert? Can we, if we, if we We've review We've already Tank done Girl? it already uh, but, yeah. a few years ago. Okay. Mm. I like Tank Girls. She's cute. Mm. I like Laurie Petty. She's mm. wonderful. <laughs> anyway, the point is, guys, uh, that's what a reverse ha harem is like. It usually means where a girl is um, being the, in sort of a... I don't know what they would call it if you were you had so many guys chasing after you. I guess you would call it either... Lucky? Um, no. <laughs> I guess... No, I was thinking of a love triangle, but maybe not a love triangle, more like a love... Um, uh, 
Pentagon. Pentagon. Uh, Octagon. <laughs> Lots of corners there. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Know. Whatever. Or a four point star. Or, yeah, whatever. Or fi- well, I don't know. I don't even know. Hundreds of thousands. <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't matter, because usually it depends on uh, how many guys are in the group. Well, there you go, then. Anyway, this is... So, that's about it for us tonight. Mike's pissing me off. As cool. always. Yes. That's, that's my job. Yes, and he's a pain in doing yeah, it. Yeah, I can't help it. All right. I'm so lovable. Sh- shut up. That's oh, right. <laughs> All right, that's about it for us tonight, guys. I'll hit Mike over the head before we head Fun. off. Okay, right. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for us tonight. Be sure to check it out. I'll be sure to put the link at the bottom of the page so you can check it out and watch every episode. That'd be very handy. As I said before, do not always. It's always good to watch every single episode. Not don't just run don't through. Skip your, through. Yeah, don't w- skip through. Don't skip through. Watch an episode. If you don't like it, don't watch the rest of them. If you like it, watch the next one and then the next one. Yeah, because yeah. if you're gonna miss, if you're gonna watch just only one, you'll you'll miss the um, finer points of the story. Exactly. So that's about it for us tonight, guys. Thanks for listening to our latest podcast, everyone. This is Sarah Stevenson. And Michael. Saying see you guys around on Boys and Ghouls. Bye for now. Bye.